Hello, it's Mr. Slope Guy here today to help you with exterior angles of triangles. So when the sides of a polygon are extended, other angles are formed. So we have a triangle here, and we've extended these lines outside of the triangle. And the original angles are the interior angles, shown here in orange. The original angles are the interior ones, the ones inside the triangle. And the angles that are formed linear pairs with interior angles are the exterior angles. So when this line goes past the triangle, this blue angle out here is a exterior angle. And when this line extends outside of the triangle, we have this exterior angle that forms. So the three orange angles are interior angles. They are inside of the triangle. And the ones on the outside are the exterior angles of the, tri of the triangle. So the exterior angle theorem, this is the most important concept we're talking about today. An exterior angle of a triangle is equal in measure to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. So it's saying these two angles in orange, the remote interior angles, remote meaning they're the furthest away from the exterior angle. These two angles in orange are equal to, if we add them up, the sum of them is equal to the exterior angle. So the orange angles here, remote interior angles, add together to equal the exterior angle. So using this diagram, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 4. Angle 1 plus angle 2 would be equal to angle 4 because of the exterior angle theorem. If we looked at that with numbers, 66 degrees plus 72 degrees, these two remote interior angles would add up to the exterior angle of X. So we could do 66 plus 72. So this angle on the outside, X would be 138 degrees. 138 degrees. So we have some relationships when we have this line extended past the triangle. So we have the exterior angle theorem that's saying angle 1 plus angle 2 would equal angle 4. We also have a couple other relationships going on with angles going on here as well. Like the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 add up to 180 because the three interior angles of a triangle always have a sum of 180. So that's the sum of interior angles of a triangle. The interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180. So we had angle 1 plus angle 2 would equal angle 4 by the exterior angle theorem. And the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 would add up to 180. We have one more pair of angles that have a relationship here. We have angle 3 plus angle 4. Together these angles make a straight line. And we know when we have two angles together that make a straight line, they add up to 180 degrees. That's called supplementary angles. Supplementary angles, two angles that together form a straight line with a sum of 180 degrees. So what if we're asked to find the missing measure? Well, we have a triangle with an exterior angle of 111. We can identify the two remote interior angles of 60 and X. So the relationship here is 60 plus x would equal 111. So we can write our equation with the exterior angle theorem. 60 plus x would equal 111. Subtract 60, and this angle must be 51 degrees. What if we're asked to find the missing measures on this one? Well, we have two. We have an x and we have a y that are missing. We have the relationship given. We have these two angles that are given look to be remote interior angles. They're furthest away from this exterior angle of Y. So if we use this, well, we can start with the sum of interior angles of a triangle. So if we look at these three angles on the inside of the triangle, we know that angles on the inside, all three of those add up to 180. So 30 plus 82 plus X would equal 180. And we could subtract 112 from each side. This has to be 68. Then if we're looking to find angle Y, what's the relationship between this angle and Y? Well, together they form this straight line, meaning that they are supplementary, or they have a sum of 180. So 68 plus Y is 180. 
subtract 68, and this side must be 112. The other approach we could have done was the exterior angle theorem. Um, I started talking about that at the beginning of the problem, where we had 30 plus 82 also would equal 112. And the great thing about these three rules is they all work together. There's uh, many ways to get to the right answer. That's really the beautiful thing about math, is how all these rules fit together so nicely that we can use them interchangeably to find the same answer. All right, what if we had to write an equation on this one? So let's find the missing measurements. We have 3x for one angle, 40 degrees, 5x minus 10. So the relationship is we have remote interior angles equaling the exterior angle. So that's where our equation is going to come from. The exterior angle theorem says that these two remote interior angles, the sum of them, so if I add 3x and 40, would equal the exterior angle of 5x minus 10. Now I have to solve. I have variables on two sides, so to get all of my variables to one side, I would start by subtract 3x from each side. Subtract 3x on this side, I'm left with 40. Subtract 3x on this side, I have 2x minus 10. Add 10 to each side, divide by 2, and I have x is 25. So if x is 25, I can use that to help me find the actual measure. So I can substitute in 3 times 25. Well, 3 times 25, this one's going to be 75 degrees. And then 5x minus 10 would be the, the exterior angle. So I can just substitute real quickly. I can put in 25 for x. 5 times 25 is 125. Minus 10 is 115. So this exterior angle, 115, and I could go back and double check. 75 plus 40 equals 115, so it looks like it works great. All right, let's look at a new one. Oh, let's say we want to find this angle. Well, a couple different ways we could do it. We could say these two angles are supplementary, meaning they add up to 180, or this angle plus this angle plus this angle are interior angles of a triangle, meaning they add up to 180. Either way, I could take 180, subtract that 115 from it, and come up with that angle of 65. All right, you guys pause the video here and see if you can find the missing measurements from the diagram. Pause here and come back. All right, welcome back. So we have remote interior angles. We know if our equation could be if we add these two angles, it's going to equal the exterior angle. So 70 plus x would equal this angle plus this angle equals 2x minus 5. Then we could solve, we could subtract 2x from each side. I'm sorry, subtract 1x from each side. This side, x minus x would just leave 70. Over here, 2 minus x is x. Oh, that got really easy really quick. Now just add 5 to each side, and x is 75. So I can replace this angle with 75. And then to find this one, I just have to do a small equation. I can put 75 in for x. 2x minus 5, put 75 in for x, so 2 times 75 is 150, minus 5 is 145. So this missing angle, 145 degrees. And then I can find this one if I'm asked. Um, we can say, what is the measure of j to k to l? j, k, l would be this angle. Well, we could do it two ways. We could do the supplementary angles, adding up to 180, or the three angles inside the triangle, adding up to 180. Let's just use the supplementary, that these two angles add up to 180. So JKL plus 145 adds up to 180. Subtract 145, and we have that this angle is 35 degrees. Hopefully you guys did pretty good on that on your own. Let's try one more. Find the measures of DAC and the measure of BAC. Pause the video here. Come back when you're ready to check. All right, welcome back. Well, let's start with some relationships we have here. We have the exterior angle theorem of these two remote interior angles adding up to DAC. So 63 plus 58 adds up to this angle shown in blue. Then I can just add 63 and 58 and get angle 120, 121 degrees would be DAC. Then the other angle I'm looking for is BAC. And BAC, I could find with supplementary angles that this angle plus 121, together they formed this straight line. Um, so we could just subtract 121 from 180 and get BAC is 59. 
We could have also used the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Either way you get angle BAC is 59. Hope that gets you guys started on exterior angles of triangles. Have a great day.